Hello and welcome to another video on this channel, which are going to talk about the Hive blog and how you can earn money by posting on it. So the Hive blog is a decentralized platform running on the Hive blockchain. It's community driven and when you post on it and people like your content, you can earn tokens, so called Hive tokens or Hive dollars. Those tokens are convertible into other cryptocurrencies and from there you can even convert them into fiat currency, which makes this a very interesting way to earn some extra money from your photography. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview about the Hive blog, how it works, how I use it and give you some ideas on how you can yeah, earn money on it using minimal effort. The end I also give you a tutorial how you can convert the tokens you earn on Hive into other cryptocurrencies and eventually into fiat money. So let's dive in and have a look. Let me now give you a quick overview of the Hive blog. What you see here is the main entry to the Hive blog. So if you just create an account on the Hive blog, you get your tokens, then you can use the main Hive blog to post your articles. So here you see the different articles I've written and those date back several years. You can also see the rewards I've received. What I want to tell you right away, the numbers you see here, for example, $124 for my Vicus Gorge article. If you go to this drop down, you can see how those rewards are actually split. So not all the rewards go to the author of a post. You see just 50% of that. The other part goes to the curators and beneficiaries. So curators, for example, are people that vote on content. And then we also have here Travel Feed, which is the app I use for posting. And they also get 10%. So I get a bit less than 50% all in all for my posts here. But still nice if you post regularly. This can accumulate a bit. I earn several hundred dollars per year if I was posting more. I think I could earn maybe in the range of $1,000, but this would also mean a lot of effort. And yeah, currently I don't have the time for that. I'll show you later how I use a minimal effort strategy here on Hive currently, but this might change in the future. If there's another Hive in the crypto world and the token prices go up, then I might also spend a bit more time here posting more content. But for now you see, I roughly post only once a month and I show you how I do this in a few minutes. So this is the main app. The nice thing about Hive is there are different other apps. So you don't need to use this one, which looks very basic and doesn't offer so much functionality. When you go here to this page, the Hive ecosystem, you see there are many apps, so-called decentralized apps, which operate on the Hive blockchain. And I just want to highlight three of those. One of those is Peak D, which is a nicer version of the Hive blog front end with additional functionality and yeah, it's just a nice user experience. So if you want to blog on the Hive blockchain, I'd recommend using Peak D for it as a default. And then there's also so-called travel feed, which I'll show you when I explain how I post my articles. And this is a community focused on travel and photography and it also has its own front end, its own look and feel and some features which are specific to this D app. Finally, I want to show you this here, this Truffle. This is actually an app you can install on your cell phone and it's similar to Instagram, but with the added benefit that when you post there, for example, stories and images, same as on the Hive blockchain, you get rewarded actual truffles here. So it's again, a way to earn tokens and make money from your posts. I tried it maybe one and a half years ago. There wasn't too many people on there yet, so there wasn't so much money to make. And yeah, I rather like to focus on longer content like real articles and which is best posted on the Hive blog itself. Now here, what you also see, if you go to this page, this is the default view of the Hive blog where you see all the current posts and you also see here on the left there are some communities to which I'm subscribed and I want to highlight a few of those. One of those is Pinmapple. So if you click on those communities, the important thing is always to look up here on the right side. You see here it has more than 10,000 subscribers 
and, and more than $4,000 in pending rewards. This tells you it's quite an active community where you can also earn some money. For example, top posts going around $100 here. And there are currently more than 500 active posters. I'll show you later how you can post to this community. And yeah, I really like to use it because you get additional rewards. Finally, I want to share you this part here, proposals. So the Hive blog is governed by the community and it's also actively developed by developers from the community or who are involved in Hive blog. This is usually done via proposals. So if you're a developer and you want to contribute to the blockchain, you can make a proposal and you can specify the proposal. What do you want to put your efforts into? And you can use such proposals to allocate funds. Then as a user, I can vote or upvote proposals and they are ranked by the votes and the top proposals usually go through. And for example, this year core development of Hive, this is an ongoing development, which does continuous improvement on the Hive blog. Finally, I also want to show you the wallet. When you sign up for Hive, you get a wallet, which is the place where your funds are located. So if you write blog posts, your blog posts get voted. After seven days of voting period, the money allocated to those blog posts can be transferred into your Hive wallet. And you see here, there are different currencies. For example, we have normal Hive and Hive Power. So typically when you transform the earnings on a post into tokens, it's split 50-50. So you get 50% Hive Power usually, which ends up in this area here and 50% will end up in Hive Dollars. The difference is Hive Dollars, you can directly transfer into other cryptocurrencies using block trades, which I show at the end of this video. And Hive Power, you first need to transform into Hive. So this is kind of a long time account, which also can be used to increase your influence in the blockchain, in the community. So I don't have very much here, but there are accounts which have several thousand worth of Hive. And those accounts, if they upvote, such an upvote is worth much more than if I upvote. If you're very invested in Hive, then you can convert also your Hive dollars into Hive power. Also, you see here, there's an interest rate attached to it. So you automatically earn Hive if you keep it as Hive power. But I usually just keep the 50%. That's my investment in the blockchain. You see currently it has a worth of less than $500. I could also power down. That's how it's called. So converting this into Hive. And the way it works, you say how much you want to power down and then the power down period, I think it's like several weeks. But I not do this because this will decrease my influence in Hive. And I want to keep some of it here. Also, I think that in the future, the token prices might go up again and then this is worth more and I can still power down every time I feel like it. Now I also want to show you how you can reuse articles which you might have already posted on your personal blog and repost them on the Hive blockchain to earn some money with them. So I have now here an article, Bali Waterfall Photography, Second Pull Guide. It's published on my blog, on my homepage. And yeah, what I can do or what I usually do with those travel related articles, for example, I have many photography guides which I'm writing on my homepage. I will repost those to the app Travel Feed, which is also posting directly onto the Hive blockchain. It's just another front end. And I already showed you there are different of those which are dedicated to different topics. Travel Feed is for travel and photography related stuff, which is why I like to use them. So the nice thing now is I can just log in with my Hive credentials. So I don't need to set up a separate login here. I can just go to continue with Hive and then use the so-called Hive Signer, which is a project also of the Hive community. This can be used for the different apps that are available and directly links the content you generate with those apps to the blockchain or your login basically. So let me just quickly log in. So now you see I'm logged into my dashboard where you see the articles I've posted through dev, through travel feed. You see the different articles, they have smiles, which is kind of likes. Nice thing is you also get rewards on the Hive blockchain. So it's not like Facebook or all the other social media where you just collect likes. Here you additionally also collect real money on the blockchain. And that's the nice thing about Hive. You see the views, not so many for the last article, so it varies, but 
you get additional views directly on the blockchain because everything you post here via travel feed will also end up on your Hive blog and from there in the different communities which you can link in such a post. And I show you this in a second. So let's just go to my posts here. So those are the posts which are already active and you see here's cross posting. So it also posts directly into Hive and let's also see the drafts. I have under scheduled already the Seacompo photography guide, which I just created. So it's basically just a repost of this here. The nice thing why this is so easy with travel feed is let's just go and quickly go to unschedule. Now go to the drafts and go to edit. What you see here, all this code here is just taken over from the classic editor in WordPress. So I can just select everything, copy and paste it over into travel feed and it will directly take over the images, apply its custom CSS, which travel feed has. All of that works very well. I can set a thumbnail. So this is something I do additionally. I can set a location, which is specific travel feed. I can set some topics and those are like hashtags on Instagram. And here I also use them tags, which I know from the Hive blockchain. For example, photography lovers is a community over on Hive. And if I use the tag here, it will be shared with this community and I might gather more traction for the article. So with time, you will have some of those tags which you can reuse. Under SEO, you can go to the advanced options and here you can set a canonical URL, which is very important because it's the same content which you repost here and you want a canonical URL pointing to your original post here. That's something I like about Travel Feed that you're able to do that. Also here, Hive, you specify how your rewards will be split and also community on Hive where you want this to be posted. I usually use have you been here and what I also do down at the end, you see this little code here. This one is generated if I go to Pinmapple. Pinmapple is a project by this have you been here community and it's basically a map of a world where you can link your articles or your posts and that's very nice because it makes them more discoverable. And for the second pool, I basically, I already did that, but I quickly show you, just say you found the location here on the map. You can also search for it, go to get code, just click somewhere where you want the marker to be, give a description. And then this is the code which you copy, let's head over here and then paste at the end of the article. It will not be visible in the article, but it will be baked into the blockchain together with the article, providing the linkage to the pin Apple app. And that's very nice and a thing you should always do because if you're posting to the have you been here community and have this pin set, you are eligible for additional rewards on the blockchain. So a bit more money for your article is possible. Then you can go to preview, just check that everything looks correct for your repost. Sometimes you have to remove some stuff, edit some stuff because yeah, it looks not 100% right if you just copy everything over, but most of the time it just works. So this looks good. And then you can go to publish, schedule your post as I did before. Usually schedule it a few days after you post your original because you want to make sure that Google first indexes your original post and then the repost is published. Yeah, that's it. That's how easy it is to repost existing articles to the blockchain and earn a bit of additional money with it. Now as promised, let me show you how you can convert Hive tokens and Hive dollars into real fiat currency or basically at first into any other cryptocurrency. And I already said you can use block trades for that. You can create a free account on this page here on this homepage. And this is what you're presented with as you log in. So how this works is you have the source or the send side where you select the currency which you want to send to block trades. In our case, it's usually Hive dollars or Hive, whatever you want to convert. So I would select Hive dollars and then the receive side is the target wallet where you want to send something. For example, if you have an account with one of the future trading platforms, for example, Coinbase, Binance, Bitpanda, 
those usually allow you to set up wallets for different currencies. For example, we could say we want to convert to Ether. You would get the wallet address from your trading platform or you could also use MetaMask, which is a wallet that integrates into the browser, get the address from there. And what you can do here, this is just for calculating what it would mean to send 1,000 Hive dollars, would be a bit more than half an Ethereum. It's not important to set this up, but it's important to set up the currencies for the send and receive side. Once you've done that, what you have to do, you get the Ethereum or whatever target currency you want from your trading platform or your MetaMask and paste it here. Once you've done so, what you can do, click on get deposit address. And let me just quickly grab my address from MetaMask for it. So I've now inserted the address. Now I click on get deposit. Just remember you have set up the source, Hive dollars or Hive, the target. And that's very important. If you set it up wrong, the transaction will fail. But good thing is it happened for me once. Money is not lost. Usually block rates just refuses to process the data or the money and you'll get back your Hive or Hive dollars. So this works, happened to me once, but still make sure to set it up correctly. So you click on get deposit address and I usually use the manual transfer because it's pretty easy. Down here, you get a memo and that's very important because this contains the information that the block trades needs to link the money you'll send to block trades to this target address. So what I usually do is then copy the memo and then I head over to my wallet on Hive. Now here, unfortunately, I currently don't have any money to send, but I can still show you how this would work. For example, we set it up to send Hive dollars to Ethereum. So I would go here on this dropdown and go to transfer. And now the important thing you're sending from your account to BlockTrades. So BlockTrades also has an account on the Hive blockchain. And this is how this works. So you're sending money to the BlockTrades account yeah, you set an amount. I can't send anything here. And down here, this is the important thing. You paste the memo. Now, if you now go to next, you have to sign in using Hive Signer. Just verify. You also get an email to say, okay, you really want to send the money. Then you're sending this money to Block Trades, and Block Trades, based on this memo, will process this transaction and directly send it on to the target address. And down here, you see I have 33 completed transactions and usually takes a few minutes until the money appears on your target address. Depends a bit on the currency you send. So for Ethereum, usually takes a few minutes. Uh, for other currencies, it's nearly instant. So don't worry if it takes a few minutes, but down here you can usually see what's happened. And using some tools like Etherscan, you could also check where the money is going and what's the stage of the transaction. So yeah, this is how you get your money transferred to other cryptocurrencies. And if you send it, as I said, to some of the major trading platforms where you have a verified account, you will also be able to convert it into fiat currency. So that's the easy way if you want to take out your money from Hive, this is how you can do it. So one thing I should also mention, although you're in the realm of cryptocurrencies here, you have to be aware of tax. So if you write for the blockchain, you put in work and as soon as you retrieve your rewards and they end up in your account here, you basically have made money and you will have to mention this in your tax. So if you're unsure how to do this correctly, you might want to talk to some tax consultant, but it's basically similar if you were writing for some magazine and the magazine pays you for the article. You also have to mention this in your text. The same is true here. But as I said, I'm not a professional here. I'm not a tax consultant by any means. I just wanted to point out that you don't forget about tax with all of this. Every time you earn some money with your photography, keep in mind, you also need to do tax on it. So with this, we're at the end of the video. Hope you liked it. If so, don't forget, leave a thumbs up, also comment. And if you're also on Hive, just post your name somewhere in the comments. Maybe we can connect and yeah, create a little community there. And with that, have a nice evening or a nice day, whatever the time is where you're staying and see you in the next video. Bye.